Okay, so you need to restore your WordPress site, uh, whether you're restoring it to a new host or uh, restoring it over a messed up copy of your site. I really hope that you watched my backup video and took the correct backup measures before anything got messed up. Basically you needed to have made a copy of your WP content folder as well as taken a WordPress uh, database backup using a plugin called WPDB Backup. If you have those two things, keep watching. If not, this might not be the right video for you as you don't have the right starting point. If uh, if you're just looking how to restore your WordPress uh, site in the future, go ahead and click on the link below to watch my how to backup video first. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our FileZilla. I'm already connected to my new host, so I'm just going to browse to the install files, which are right here. And you can see I have my admin content and includes uh, folders just like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to go ahead and delete all three of those existing directories which are pretty much empty anyway I just delete them in case um, something I upload doesn't overwrite everything perfectly probably be just as safe just to leave all that stuff in there okay and you see in the left hand side I have uh, browsed to my folder where I saved that WP con content stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and start the upload of all this. And this is going to take a minute because there's 3,000 files. All right, all of our files have been uploaded. So here's what we do with to get the rest of the data in there. Now that all of the files are there, we're going to go back to our C panel. We're going to go to uh, something called PHP my admin. Um, so depending on your host, there may be different ways to get there. Um, this is how you do it through cPanel. So you click on PHP my admin, and you're going to see two databases pull up here. Um, the one that has the unique name in this situation, Epic Rep, whatever. Is, uh, if you click on that, it's going to show you all of the tables within that uh, database. We're going to click on one called WP Options. And you can see it's got a whole bunch of different, uh, whole bunch of different information. So all we're going to do now to import all of the rest of the data, so everything that was in your database, is we're going to click Import. We're going to choose File. Okay, so we go to the folder that had our SQL dump that we did with the WPDB backup program on our previous installation. We're going to select that to upload, and all we do is we hit Go. Now after this completes, it says that it imported all of this SQL information. You're going to want to click back on Options and then Browse. And when you go in here, um, you want to look for the URL. If the URL isn't the URL that you're putting this onto, so if, you, if you're changing URLs while moving this WordPress site, for example, um, then you'd want to click on this and update that here. Um, I'm moving it basically to the same URL just on a different server, so I'm going to leave that is. And I'm just going to go back to my blog, click visit site, and you can see that basically now it's in it's it's pulled in all of your posts and all of your pages. It's pulled in all of your menus, your users, your passwords, um, everything. So everything should be as it was, and that's how you successfully restore your WordPress site from your backups that we talk using FTP and the WPDB backup plugin. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click like, and then click the link below to sign up for our newsletter where we'll send you guides, reviews, and how-tos directly to you, as well as our free guide on how to make money with your WordPress site.